level zero versus level five. And the level zero is just T-posing, doing nothing, tanking the level five's insane attacks. Now, I'm not sure if Imagine Breaker is active at some point, even though he's not actively trying to block it, right? The electricity is hitting us all, but Toma is seemingly just tanking it. There's even intentional lines by the anime dialogue where it's just like, this is not normal. How are you just tanking these hits? Misaka, are you going easy? And Misaka says, no, I'm not going easy. She even went all out on like the other attack. Like we tanked that shit like three times or something. He's still up. How? There's even an interesting comment made where, yeah, Imagine Breaker, you know, canceling out the electricity makes sense in the first episode. But how the fuck could a regular person react to light speed? Is this show trying to tell us that like Toma, Yes, he has a bullshit power, but his, there's something different about him fundamentally that just lets them be this durable to be able to react to light speed. I don't fucking know, but that guy is cracked. Misaka is basically being Sundere and saying, help us, please, somebody. And then Toma shows up and says, I want to help you. And Misaka's like, I never asked for your help. Please help me. And it's really hard to get through her, but I think Toma will definitely do it. We will figure out a way to save the clones. We will figure out a way to defeat Accelerator. And somehow the tree diagram, the machine gods will be appeased because what's happening? If we're able to prevent, if we're able to prove to them that their calculation is wrong, then they don't have another calculation because Orihime one is shot down, right? Let's begin today's reaction. I want to help the clones, to be honest. And this cat might be the true level six in disguise, man. I don't know how it survived everything, but it did. But he did. gonna walk it off the cat tanked it too <laughs> gonna walk that shit off bro accelerator one way oh shit the clones you're gonna get hunted down careful mm. this is the coordinates oh, oh, okay it's 32 again how to cope in a combat when reflection is inapplicable? Reflection is inapplicable? Accelerates reflection. Can you create a scenario where it turns off? Toma could. Toma's hand. Damn. Even to these like clones that shouldn't have like a soul or whatever. They're thinking about Toma. That's how much of an impression he's made on them. Sensei's place. Hot tub. Bath. All right, this is kind of important. Hold up, hold up. Fan service with exposition. RSPK syndrome. Poltergeisting. I remember something like this when reading the wiki regarding the power leveling and like the personal reality and like this is like a bad byproduct of I'm kind of going crazy or something, right? Can't be reality. Too much esper sh <laughs> Even if there are lollies, there is, you know, Komoe Sensei is the smallest, then it's Index, then it's Hime. In the experience we used to develop one's abilities, RSPK syndrome is basically you just going crazy because the experiment didn't really work out. Mm. Personal reality inside. Yep. That's how they get their expert powers. Basically, you delude yourself into thinking that you have a personal reality which is alternate from what is real reality and then your powers are grounded in that personal reality what you believe in, right? Sure. Predicting a year into the future, but who can do that? Are the people using the tree diagram stuff using this kind of power? There's a power like that? You have one year of foresight? <laughs> there it is. We wanted to do this together, right? Drink the coffee milk and then the massage chair. Again, personal reality. Basically, Academy City has realized you need to go schizo. 
We're going to pump you full of these drugs. You're going to go delusional until you figure out a different reality within yourself. Then that will be the basis of your power. <sighs> Anyone. Mm, he's special though. More significant. Imagine Breaker, do you know it? Naughty boy. Like what? Failing school over and over? Yeah. Yeah, he's an anomaly. He is an outlier. How the fuck is he level zero but have Imagine Breaker? Something about his power probably prevents him from awakening this personal reality. Well, maybe Imagine Breaker is his personal reality, or maybe it's something separately different, but he is definitely very, very special. If not more, there's probably only one level zero, right? Level, se level fives, they're very, very rare. There's only seven of them. And we're trying to breach into the level 6 territory. But I bet a level 0 is maybe even more rare than a level 6. System. And could that be Toma? God's answers. Does God exist? I don't know. Maybe, bro. Yeah, it'd be funny if the Imagine Breaker, right? What is a personal reality? It's pretty much a delusion. You have to imagine it, right? And Thomas' thing is, let me break that fucking delusion. Let me break your illusion. There's only one massage chair. We gotta share it. One more time. Mm. Probably Toma there. God's answers. I feel like Toma's like anti-God. He's canceling out God's miracles. All right, back to Toma. How are you living, bro? How did you do this? Did it save you? You got beady beady. Where's the cat? Is it still around? What are you doing? I thought you fucking left. You were. You just waited for us. You're crying. Lap. Lap. <laughs> Oh, psycho crazy <laughs> just almost kills us three lightning shocks and now we're getting a lap pillow what are you crying for <laughs> because i tank three hits from a level five oh mr cat hmm? what hmm? What? What's so simple about this? Yeah, so is the answer just surpass Accelerator? Like, I will simply defeat Accelerator and prove to the tree diagram that I am more worthy. Therefore, we don't need to go on with the Radio Sister plan. So, mm. It was defeated at level zero. Let's break through illusions. Okay. Easier said than done. You still have to beat Accelerator, but like, I don't, I don't know how it's, what, how, what, like the vector transform, the reflect could definitely be countered by the right hand, but I bet he could use different things to throw at us, like steel p pillars and different like objects, throw, throw, throw. We can't really cancel those things because those are solid objects being thrown. I don't know, this, this fight's going to be interesting. Why? Okay. But here's the thing. I'm not you. I tanked three of your hits without doing anything. We are not the same, Misaka. Levels are fraudulent. Levels are fraudulent. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're level five. What, but what if a level zero did it, huh? What if a level zero fucking did it? That would be so ridiculous that maybe they'd be like, yep, Accelerator's washed up, let's just abandon the project. Yeah? Gets defeated by level zero. People would probably rethink the level system. Would there be some sort of like readjustment in how we grade different people? Because if a level 0 defeats the strongest level 5, 
Surely a city based on science and logical thinking would realize that, hmm, there's something wrong with this system. We should change it. <laughs> Well, now we know. Thank you for explaining. But I can cancel it. Yeah, whose fault is that? We're literally going into the fight. Are we fighting tonight? Do we have to do this right now? I just really, if we're doing it right now, it's gonna be even more ridiculous that an injured Toma tanking three fucking hits from a level five then goes on to defeat a level, another level five, the rank one level five. What the fuck? Yo, can we fight tomorrow? Just watch me. I'll do it. She's blushing. I'm doing this for 10,032. Not you. I'm doing this for the clones and the cat. Go away. Yeah, take me there. Where 10,032 is, probably. Oh god, there he is. No, not yet. Where is he? Uh-oh. <laughs> We're being very compliant here. She plotting something. Hmm. My life is the most important, which is why there's no limit to my desire for power. His self-centered narcissism created a personal reality that has this godlike vector transform. That's it? Maniac. No, 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 no. I don't like the fact that I share level 5 with 6 other losers. I want to have a number that no one else has. Level 6. Where are you going with this? He wants to be not even a target. He wants to have such a gap that no one would dare ever even think about challenging him. That'd be so lonely though. I don't know, would he get bored of that at a certain point? But I get where he's going with his definition of psycho. Did she even listen? He's kind of like Regulus. <laughs> he just want to talk. He's like, damn, this robot ain't fucking... Hey, Toma talks a lot, though. You can have a nice long conversation with Toma. You guys can fucking yap the entire time instead of fighting. What did you call it? Factory? What? Overproduce what? Overproduce substandard factory reject? Ouch! 10 seconds in. Here we go. Toma, Misaka should probably show off soon. Misaka ain't coming, only Toma. <laughs> That's a pretty good intermission scene. I uh, what the fuck? He broke the camera, bro. He broke the fucking camera, bro. So like he's using vector transform to accelerate fast, right? He's literally pushing himself back. I mean, the force is going back, and then the opposite force propels him forward. That's actually crazy that there is coordinates for each single one. 20,000 coordinate points. How does he get all the instructions?
like imagine having to be 20,000 different places because that's like the destination of the fight. <laughs> Yo, Misaka, you're really not coming? She can't be there. I thought she still watched or something. Just come watch, be a spectator. There's the fight. Reflect. Let me break that illusion for you. Thomas about to fucking show up pretty soon. Misaka's doing well though. No wind. Smell. No wind, smell. Are we loading up this area with some sort of like chemical? What's happening? Ozone. We're literally going to give him like oxygen poison. I forget how this shit works, but is this like carbon monoxide? Just remove oxygen. They're adapting. Look at that. Bro flies. That's right. Vector, kinetic momentum. You know, pushes off back. Just fucking just. Physical powers? Pretty good, I guess. Hit someone without doing any harm to your own hands. I would imagine before it makes contact, there would be like a layer between the surface and your fist where... I don't know, you buffer that, you pad that shit, so you're punching them, but there's no impact being, being sent to your hands? How, do, how does that work? <laughs> you just kick them instead? Don't say that. Don't say that. Do you know how to hit someone without, you know, hurting your hands? Just kick them! No, it can't be. It can't be. No. Okay, it's an actual answer. So that's just kicking. He's not trolling. The kinetic momentum vector at her the moment you touch her body. So is he talking about Newton's third law? Where... If you have a force in one direction, I think it's the third law where there's going to be an opposite force. But that opposite force is literally being redirected. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's one way, the other way. But due to his vector transform, he's like, nope, you also go that way. Like, what? <laughs> Crazy shit. <laughs> it's double. Like, like, yeah, exactly. Now the opposite force is being turned around, you're doubling it. It's basically two punches rather than one punch. This is even more OP. <laughs> Toma. Huh? Did someone show up, right? Toma. Oh, fuck. They meet. Bro, still think of the sister. <laughs> It's a very secret project. The public can't know. Oh, Thirst String. The Yapper. The main character. That's right. You're fucking Third String, bro. I'm level zero. And I'm about to whoop your ass. I thought he was gonna do the fucking regular thing. Like, literally what happened in the most recent episodes of Season 3... Episode 3, ReZero, Regulus literally makes a contact with the fucking pebble. The pebble fucking and just cuts off, you know, just explodes the leg. That's it! Was that a threat? Did he think we're flinch? 
What do you think the odds are that Nagatsuki Tape actually was inspired by Accelerator when creating Regulus? Because there's, I don't know. There should be a Q&A. Tape Sensei, there's, do you know Twaruno Index Accelerator? What's going on? Did you take some inspiration? Even Jujutsu Kaisen, right? Gojo, like straight up, even Gojo too probably is like inspired by Accelerator, right? Gojo Regulus, like it just, it just kind of seems that way, right? Saving you. We're here to help you. No, to you, you may not value your life because you're just a bunch of clones. To me, I don't care. Don't care. Is it that easy? We can just press a button and a couple hundred more Misakas can show up. Now, if you put it that way, no, no, it's not about that. It's not about how easy it is to reproduce them. No, it's not about that. We, I like 10,032. I don't want any more of them to die. They shouldn't have to suffer. Oh. Let's go, Toma. That's right. You're unique to me. 10,032. Yep, he's a yapper. You can have a conversation. Buddy, you're third string. So that was like Vector transformed from the ground, right? He seemed to stomp the ground and everything just... The more I watch this, the more I realize that it's literally Vector Transform. Regulus's powers. Everything about objects, slight tides, everything just whoosh, like, like, even the sand, just, I'm just waiting for him to just fucking throw sand in the air. I'm just waiting for him to just like, sand, and then sand just pellets, just like, like it's just it's, it's that. But I'm sure there's a twist. I'm sure there's like a twist. It's not the exact, the, exactly the same, but goddamn, the similarities right now is insane. It's uncanny. <laughs> Like, we can't cancel these metal fucking things being thrown at us. Wow, the clone's showing so much emotion. <laughs> you should have called this fourth string. He, he really took that third string, you know, uh, insult to heart. But what are we going to do about the speed? Because, like, genuinely... He has so much range. He's way faster than us. The punch can never land. What the fuck are we going to do? Overwhelming. Maybe Accelerator will get very cocky. Because he still doesn't know what Toma can do. Maybe all we need is like one good punch. Cliffhanger. Oh. I heard it. I heard it. Something got canceled. Okay, now what? His right hand... What got canceled there? Imagine we just, like, remove Accelerator's powers immediately. I don't know. Like, like I heard the sound. Can you still vector transform that? What's going on? Touch it more. Touch it more. No, 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 no. He can still do it. But I wonder now... Because that was with his foot. Maybe he can't vector transform with his right hand now. And if we're able to touch all the limbs, maybe he can use his head. But like, what is the significance of the right hand? <laughs> maybe it's just the reflect. He's like, you dare touch me and you made contact. There should be constant 24-7 reflect happening. I've never been touched like this, not even by a woman. I'm pissed off is what's happening right now. <laughs> I don't know.
Jesus! You know, he's a pretty good fighter, huh? Like, of course, right now, even be aware that Toma basically just tanked all of Misaka's hits. He's so nerfed right now, and he just, like, showed up here. But, like, you know how Regulus, like, literally has no fighting skills because he relies on his authority so much? There's no need for him to be good at martial arts. Like, and he doesn't have 24-7 auto-fucking reflection on. The Accelerator does. He seems to be pretty capable at fighting, right? Flower, uh oh. Flower, combustion. Remember, remember, there's no oxygen, right? We've seen so. What was the most recent example of this shit? Ah, oh, fuck. It was literally ReZero. <laughs> it's literally ReZero. That's, that's the same shit that happened in season two content. And then there's Spike's family, season one, episode one. But if the flowers are on, the oxygen, something's gonna combust. I kind of wanted to see him, like, use the flower particles to like shred Toma at like an atomic level, but here we go, explosion incoming. Uh-oh, combustion. Yeah. And like, I bet, I, I bet Accelerator can create the combustion. And if everything explodes, I bet that his auto guard would just protect him, but Toma. I mean, Pro has tanked Misaka's hits. I, I, I honestly think that the combustion, the explosion of the flowers is probably weaker than, you know, Misaka's like all out lightning attack. So I think we can tank it. <laughs> yes, I have. Oh, he's running. <laughs> this laugh is maniacal. I think he's having a lot of fun. Has Accelerator ever had this much fun in his life? I don't know, but the laughing makes me think that he's found a new best friend. <laughs> Cliffhanger! Nope. Yo, what about the Misaka clone? What about 10,032? And that is another episode of Index. And goddamn, Toma versus Accelerator is happening. But I wonder if 32, you know, survived at the end. And maybe she was too far away from the explosion. So today's episode, what did we learn? Um, a little bit more about the poltergeist, like that syndrome, you basically go crazy. It's all about, you know, fucking making, just, just drug the kids up and they're gonna create their own personal reality based on their delusions and that's gonna be their esper power. Um, the game plan right now is to make, to create a scenario where a level zero defeats the strongest level five, prove that, you know, accelerator is mid, fell off and the tree diagram will stop pursuing after the level six project. I wonder if that's going to be the case. I wonder if they're, the tree diagram will be like, you know what? We found our next uh, candidate to surpass the human limits. Okay, we're going to use Toma now. I'm not sure, but the outcome of this battle, if we win, will be very, very fascinating, right? To see exactly how the decision makers of this world will react. Misaka, 1032, 10,032. She's like, why? I can't comprehend why you would do this to me. Because we can just be mass produced and we're all a hive mind. But to Toma, each and every one of them are unique and we need to protect them. And Accelerator's powers, it's very, very formidable. It's very strong. But we saw one instance, you know, it, we can't make contact. And uh, maybe our element of surprise is gone because of the one contact we were made. Right? Uh, Accelerator was super pissed off, right? As soon as we made the contact with the right hand and the sound effect was made. But if we just get one clean punch in, how durable is Accelerator? Because Toma is extremely durable. Even the flower explosion, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Am I crazy for thinking that Misaka's electric shit is better, like more powerful than the flower explosion? Maybe not. But like, how sturdy is Accelerator? Maybe all it takes is one lucky punch when he is power tripping enough to send him flying. And that's it for me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.